Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So we're going to work on this beaded toggle clasp today. And this is something I didn't have a dedicated video for, so I thought let's go ahead and do it. I mean, I have the ring on one video and the bar on a different, so let's just do it as a complete video. So anytime you want to use this clasp, all I have to do is go to the video, and I'll put it in the how-to playlist, so you can always go there and take a look at it. All right, so I'm going to clear this off, get a materials list going, and we'll get started. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So you need some 15-0 seed beads, some 11 -0 Delicas, some 11 -0 seed beads, you know, just regular round seed beads, 3 millimeter bicones, a couple of 4 millimeter bicones, stop bead, 6 pound fire line or 8 pound would work, size 12 beading needle. If you have any of the Eureka collections where you know you get those little bags of 20 Swarovski 4 millimeter and 3 millimeter bicones, it's perfect for this. You can use up all those little bags. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to clear this off. We're going to get started. Don't forget to look in the description box below the video for all beads, amounts, sizes, shapes, colors, um, any uh, links to any websites if you need to purchase anything or you would like to purchase any of the colors I've used. All right, see you in a minute. Let's get started. So thread your needle with about three feet of thread. Put on a stop bead right in the middle so you have half your thread coming out of one side, half coming out of the other. So I've switched out my 15 O's for an 11 O and my 11 O Delicas for a 10 O Delica. Now you, um, if you haven't done much peyote before and done much bezeling or rings, that sort of thing, might I suggest you try using larger beads at first to practice because it's not really hard to do. It's just that it gets a little bit you know, challenging in the center here. So if you use larger beads, it's a little bit um, easier just to get, you know, some practice going. If you just want to use the 15 O's and the 11 O Delicas, just, you know, take your time and, um, you know, you'll get it. You might just have to practice a little bit. So I'm going to call these 15 O's even though they're not. And I'm going to call these 11 O Delicas just so that you know what to pick up. So you're going to pick up 40 of your 15 O seed beads and you're going to drop them down to your stop bead. Let's make those into a circle. So you're just going to come around and sew through the first seed bead after your stop bead. And that's going to make it into a circle. I'll pull in a little bit. Now the only part that's really kind of, well, there are a couple little parts that are frustrating. Some, you know, when you do um, peyote with, you know, with the rounder beads, you know, sometimes the beads don't pop up properly. So you just want to make sure that everything is sitting nicely. So we're exiting here. I'm going to pick up an 11 0, skip the next bead, and sew through the following bead. So just doing a little peyote circular, going around. And you want to keep this relatively loose. You just want to make sure the beads are sitting nicely. So exiting here, skip this one, sew through the following one. And you see how sometimes they don't pop up on top of the previous bead, like they lock into place when you use a Delica. But we want to use these seed beads. So you're just going to have to sort of encourage them, like giving them a little push to sit up there. Okay, do that again. Exiting here, skip the next one, sew through the following one. I'm just kind of holding my thumb there, and it's sort of pushing it into place a little bit. Like that. Again, exiting here, skip this one, sew through the next one, and just you're going to do that all the way around, and then we'll step up at the end. However, I just want to give you a couple of tips here. So you want to keep this relatively loose. You just want to make sure the beads are sort of popping up like they should be. They're going to be a little bit wonky, but they'll be okay. We're not doing a bezel here. We're doing a, a, a ring, so you want this to stay as flat as possible because we have to get beads in the center here. So keep it loose, don't let it bunch up, and as we go um, on adding the delicas, everything will straighten out, but don't make it tight. You'll be sorry if you do. <laughs> All right, so come around um, and meet, at the end. meet me at the end and we'll step up together. Okay, so I'm coming down to the end. We'll do the last couple of beads together. So actually, I've already put on almost my last one. So here, I've put this bead on right there, and now I'm going to step up. So exiting this bead, skipping this one, I'm going to sew through the, the next bead and, I'll, and the one on the diagonal. Let me just get my needle in and then I'll move my finger. There we go. Okay. So we put this bead on, we're skipping this one, picking up a bead, sewing through the next bead and the one on the diagonal. And I put that on. That 
puts me up there so I can add some more beads on. And you know, like I said, when you do the these um, the 11 O's, it gets a little wonky looking, but it's okay. So just get to this point, and you'll see when we put the Delicas on how it's going to straighten out. Okay, so let's add some Delicas. So I'm going to pick up my 11 O Delica. Exiting here, I'm just going to sew through every sticking out seed bead, and this is going to straighten everybody out. And you just want to keep this loose. Like that. And you'll be, of course, working with your little, your, um, right, your 11 O's. I'm working with a bigger bead here. Like that. So just go all the way around, and then meet me at the end, and we'll step up. Okay, coming to the end, I'm going to pick up a bead. I'm going to put in my last bead through here, through this one, and the one on the diagonal. So through that seed bead, and then the Delica, that's the very first Delica I put on. And there I have my my first round of Delicas on it. See how everything is kind of straightened out now? You don't want to pull it. Uh, believe me, you don't. So we're going to add some more Delicas. So here, just put a de sew a Delica in between each. Sticking out Delica all the way around. And then step up. Make sure that's in there. Step up and do it again, but still keep it you know, pretty loose, kind of like I have it, like pretty flat. All right, so you're going around, and then one more time. And then meet me back here, and we'll start on the other side. Okay, we're back. So I have all three rounds on of that first side, and now I'm just going to leave this thread, and I'm going to take the stop bead off the interior thread, and I'm going to thread my needle. Now, just fight the urge to make this curve. Just kind of keep it as flat as possible. In fact, you're going to start sort of... Um, holding it this way so you can get beads in between these 11 O's or these, um, excuse me, the 15 O's. So you'll be exiting, let's say, where am I exiting? This bead. You just want to move your thread go on the diagonal so you're, you're exiting one of the interior up beads or sticking out beads. And then what you want to do is you're just going to take a Delica and you're going to sew through each 15 O. It's going to get a little tight in there, but don't worry about it. It'll work out. I've kind of bend it over this way so that those beads are accessible. So I'm just going to keep sewing through all of them. And they're going to look a little wonky, but don't worry about it. They'll be fine. Just make sure they're sitting in place. And give it a little pull, but you don't want to, you want to make sure everything fits. You know, there are some places where it's going to seem like it's, you know, it's very tight, but you'll get it to so just, if you hold it like this and kind of give it just a little pull in that direction, it will, you know, they'll sit in there nicely. And like I said, if they're slightly, you know, wonky, it's okay. We're going to put another round on. So just keep going. Like that. So you're going to just do that all the way around, and then you're going to step up at the end. If you want me to, um, I'll come back at the end of this round and step up with you. Okay, I'm coming to the end, so I have a couple of beads to go here. So here, I'm putting on my next Delica. And then this one, so this is where it gets a little tight. And then you, so I'm just going to kind of pull it open a little bit. So here I'm exiting here. I'm going to sew through this seed bead and then the Delica on the diagonal. If you can't get them both at the same time, do them one at a time. So like that. It's going to place my last Delica on and you might have to give it a little pull to make it fit in. There we go. So you just kind of give it a pull and it pops in. Now you're going to do one more round and it's going to straighten everybody out. So just put a Delica in between each Delica. And don't worry about it. Just pull, put it in there and it, you know, it might look a little wonky, but um, it'll all straighten out in the end. All right, so get that done. Step up and then uh, we're going to zip it up. Just back for a second. So sometimes if you hold it like this, hold your thumb here, Look on the side, you can get, you know, these Delicas going really beautifully this way. 
So I'm sort of holding it. I've got my thumb on it. And I'm just putting a bead in between each delica. And see it's starting to curve outward. That's exactly what you want. Because then we're going to zip those top beads together. See, like that. All right, so get that done and meet me at the end and we'll continue. I just want to show you down at the end here, we're stepping up and it's it's very hard to see the step up, but you'll see you have that. So here I've, I've put this bead on right here, like that. And now you want to put your last bead on. Don't forget, you have to have a bead here. So you want to pick up a bead, sew through this delica and the delica on the diagonal. I know it looks like it doesn't fit, but it does. See, just like that. All right, so just get to this point, and then we'll zip it up. Okay. So this is a, this is like the most satisfying part. So I'm exiting an up delica. So we're going to go back and forth. I try to do contrast and color, but these colors are very close. It was the only two delicas I had, you know, in tenos um, for demonstrating. So here we're exiting this upbeat. You just want to go across, sort of diagonally, to the upbeat on the other side. So this brown one to this green one, like that. You're only working with the up beads here. So I'm exiting this one. I want to go to this one. I'm going through this bead. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through this up bead on the other side. Okay, so maybe if I, let me try holding it. Well, I just have to hold it this way. So exiting this up bead, just go through the up bead on the other side. So it's on the diagonal. Exiting this up bead, I'm going to go through the up bead on the other side. Up bead on the other side. Just make sure you're going through the up beads or the sticking out beads. And if you're having trouble seeing them, you know, just kind of move it around a little bit until you until you see it. So you see that? Pulls it together through this one. Very easy. Once you see what you know, once you realize you're just using the up beads there and you're sort of on the diagonal. See how I'm sewing in this direction? Like that. Like that. Oops. Like that. Just across all the up beads. Like that. And here I'll stop and show you how it looks. So you see how you've we've zipped it up? And look how pretty that looks. It's so it's, it's just so much fun. Just just remember all the up beads. All right, so I'm just going to let you go off and do the rest of this. And then, oops, I'm a little tangled there. I'll get that out. Um, okay, hold on, here we go. There we go. Just through the up beads. So get that done, get the rest of that done, and then maybe back here and we'll embellish it a little bit. Just a little uh, note before I finish it up. You have your other thread on the other side. You may want to take a needle and just sew that thread in a little bit. So exiting here, you want to just sew through this delica, this delica, this, you know, this um, seed bead, the delica. Just get rid of it so it's it's not sticking out, and then you can continue zipping up. Okay, so I'm all sewn together, zipped up, and what you can do at this point is you can just sew, do, sew through a, couple, a few beads on the diagonal, or as much as you like to tighten it up. Of course, this using these big beads, it, the toggle is not going to be as sturdy. Um, so we're going to do a little stitch in the ditch now. So to do the stitch in the ditch, you want to make sure you are coming out of, here we go, right here. So you want to make, you so if you notice, you have three beads this way and two this way. Three this way, two this way. Um, we want to put a bead right here in between these two center beads all the way down the line. So I'm just going to pick up, I'm going to use an, of course I'm using an 8 because I'm making this much bigger toggle. So I'm exiting a center bead right here. So here are the three delicas across, two, three, two. I'm just going to sew through the next center delica. And you'll use an 11 delica here. I mean, you can use the seed bead if you want, but that's, I did the Adelica on the little toggle. So I'm just going to place a bead in every ditch. Like that. Give it a pull. 
When you pull it nice and tight, it looks pretty. All right, so get that all the way done and meet me at the end, and we'll add some bite cones in. Okay, coming down to put on the end to put on my last stitch in the ditch. So here, exiting, or sewing through that delica. Now I'm going to sew through this first 8-0 that I put on, or your 11-0 delica. Let's see if a bicone, I'm using a 4 millimeter bicone. Okay, we'll see if that fits. And then an 8 -0. So you're going to use a 3 millimeter bicone and an 11 -0. We're just going to do that all the way around. Like that. And you're just going to continue that all the way around until you're done, and then you're going to sew in your threads. So this, you know, as my demonstration piece, I'll put that aside. So here are all our rings. So as I said, if you're doing the ring with the 15 O's and the 11 O Delicas, um, that's the way you should be doing it. Just take your time and practice a lot. Sometimes, you know, getting that inner ring done is a real um, challenge, but you'll get it. All right, so play with that a little bit, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to work on the toggle bar. Much easier, but you'll love it once you get it. All right, see you in a few. Okay, let's get that toggle bar started. So thread your needle with about 30 inches of thread. Put on a stop bead and leave enough of a tail to sew in. So I've picked up and dropped down to my stop bead 16 of my 11 Odelicas. So all I'm going to do here is a little flat, even count peyote. So I'll get you started. So sitting here. We're going to skip this bead. Sew through the next one. Just to get the top in. Like that. Beads sit next to each other. Pick up Delica. Exiting this one. Skip the next one and sew through the following bead. Like that. Sure that sits into place. Pick up a delica. Exiting here, skip this one. Sew through the next one. Like that. So you're just going to do that all the way down to the bottom and then come on back and we'll turn around. Okay, coming down to the end. So I'm picking up a bead. So exiting here, pick up a delica, sew through this last delica, so skipping a bead and sewing through the last one, just like that. Now we're going to go back up again, so exiting here, just going to sew, put a bead on in between each sticking out bead, like that, oops, like that. So, you know, just your standard, you can count, flat peyote. It's going to go all the way to the top. Like that. Now I'm going to turn around again back down. So you're just going to continue to do this. Going all the way down, turning around, coming back up until you have five beads along the top. So this is where I'm counting. One, two, three. You'll have five and five along the bottom. Okay? And so just up and down and up and down until that's you have five on the top, five on the bottom. Okay, and then meet me back here and we'll zip it up. Okay, so I've done my entire piece. So I have five beads at the top, five along the bottom. So now we're going to zip it up. So I'm just going to fold it over like that. So see where I'm exiting this bead right here? I'm just going to sew through this bead on the other side right here. going to close the top. Now I'm going to start going on the diagonal. So I'm going to sew through this one, the up bead here, and then the up bead here. And then this up bead on the other side, 
and this side bead on this side. I'm just going to do that all the way down to the end till I zip up my tube. Just going from side to side. Okay, so just get down to the end and then uh, come on back and we'll finish the edge. Okay, coming down to the end, so here I'm going through this up bead and then I'm going to go through this bead, so on the other side. So now I'm my toggle is zipped up, but I see these two beads here, they're not connected. This one and this one. I'm just going to go down this bead like that to connect those beads. So now they're connected and then I'm going to go I think I'm going to go down one here on the diagonal just to make sure everybody is seated nicely. See that? And then I'm going to reverse direction and go back up this bead and then up through this top bead like that so that I have both my threads are coming out of beads at the top right there. I'm just going to let you get to this point and then we're going to um, start the embellishment. Okay, let's get our little embellishment started. So here I just added a thread because I used that other, I made a, a new one. Um, so you'll just be coming out of one of these top delicas right here. So I'm going to do a little brick stitch. Pick up two of my 11 0 seed beads exiting here. I'm just going to sew through that thread bridge right there. Make sure that pops down and go back up the second bead right there. And I'm not putting these on super tight and I want them to kind of be on the edge a bit. Pick up a 11 0 I'm going to sew through this thread bridge right here. And up. Pick up an 11 0 through the next thread bridge. Like that. Up. Pick up another 11 0 through this thread bridge. Get my needle in. So through every thread bridge you're putting an 11 -0. And you're going to fit five beads in there. Now on some of mine I fit six. I kind of jammed six in because I liked it sticking out. You know, the bead sticking out, but it depends on what's going to fit. Alright, so here I'm just going to, I'm exiting here, I'm just going to sew through this one to connect it to the previous one. Then I'll go back up the previous one like that. And now I have all five of my little edge beads on. So I'm, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop my needle right through the tube like that. And I'm going to come up, I'm going to sew through. So I'm coming out of the middle of the tube. I'm going to sew down through one of the delicas and then up the next one. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to embellish the edge of this one. So out of the Delica. I'm just going to so pick up two, sew through the thread bridge like that and so on. So get that done and then come on back and we'll put the bicone on. Okay, so I have both my sides on. Now we're going to put the bicones on. So what we're going to do is we're going to, actually we're exiting one of the 11 O's that we brick stitched on. I'm just going to just take my needle and thread needle and thread and just pop right through to the other side so I'm coming out the center of the tube like that. I'm gonna pick up a bicone, so it's a four millimeter and an 11 0 I'm gonna drop those down. I'm gonna skip the 11 0 and I'm gonna go right through the tube again. I'm gonna go through the bicone and then through the tube again. Just to secure that. I'm gonna give that a pull. I want to make sure that sits nicely, so I'm going to pull it. My thread is shredding for some reason. <laughs> Pick up a bicone and an 11 0. Pop those down. Hopefully, my thread won't break. 
I've just been using this same thread for a while, so, you know, taking it out and such, so it's kind of shredded a bit. So I'm just going to skip the 11 -0, go through the, the tube. You can come right back up through the previous bicone. Let's see if I can get it up there. There we go. And the 11 -0. And then so secure that and give this a really give this a pull. Make sure everybody's seated nicely. Go around that 11 0 back down through the bicone. And you can embellish, um, excuse me, um, reinforce, both, reinforce both sides. And there you have it. Okay, so why don't you get that done and come on back and we'll finish up. We're done. So this is a great technique for you to learn for whenever you want to use this ending. So as I said, just do a lot of practicing. You'll get it. It's kind of like learning how to do a bezel in a way. You know, sometimes it just takes a lot of a lot of practice before you get it. But once you get it, you have the skill. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun making these, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.